Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button. I want to tell everyone out there going through a hard time, going through stress to hold on. So let's say that you guys are, <clears throat> you know, you work, we all work, we all work to pay bills, of course. And, you know, you pay a car note, you pay a house bill, you don't have enough money or once you have a little money, there's more money that has to be dished. God's plan for you is closer than you know. Hold on, stay strong, give the good fight. If you're, you know, at work or at school and, you know, you're constantly being belittled, talked about behind your back, you hear it, you know people, you know, are saying these bad things about you, hold on. Don't give in to what they say. Don't give in to what they do. You have to hold on because the minute you decide to give up and throw in that towel, that's when you don't know if you could have, if you could have, you know, made it, what the outcome would have been. You don't know. So I say, hold on. Do not give up, you guys. Um, you know, that stressful marriage, you keep praying to God, like, God, you know what? I really wish he or she would change, whatever. Hold on. There's bound to be something good come out of that. Whether you grow as a person, you learn that, you know, you stay too long. God bless you to come out that situation stronger, not drain. Hold on. If that person is continuously doing things on purpose in that marriage to irritate you, to kind of get you guys off track, you need to hold on. There's better and brighter days. How do you know that through that hard situation that you're going through? Out of it might come a good man or good woman. You need to hold on. Do not give up because I'm going to tell you something. When you want to throw in that towel and you want to give that towel and just set it down and say, you know what, God, I can't do it. I promise you guys, he always throws my towel back. He's like, you know what? You're not done. Out there, you guys, I want you guys to know, hold on. Your blessings are right around the corner. Your blessings are right around the corner. And I feel like when you hold on, you don't get discouraged. You you know, you, you hang in there. It's going to be okay. Next week is another week. <clears throat> Tomorrow is another day. How do you know that what you've been praying for, what you've been hoping for isn't around the corner, but you cannot give up. If you look around you and you're in a bad environment, you wish that life will get better. You cannot give up. You have to hold on. Hold on. Do not succumb to peer pressure. Hold on. If you know that you have friends that are out there doing these bad things and you know you're a good kid, you know that you're a good kid and they continue to do these things, hang on. God is going to remove you into a better situation or he is going to remove them. But you have to hang on. You can't give up because giving up, you never reach your full potential of who you can be and who you can become. That is making you a stronger person. That is making you who you're going to be in the future. Trust me, if life did not get hard, we wouldn't become who we're supposed to be. So I say, you guys, hang in there, hang stronger, hang a little bit longer. If there are brighter and better days, think about how God got you through your situation last year. Think about how God got you through your situation last month. He's going to do it for you this month. He's going to do it for you next month. He's going to do it. You have to believe that he will do it. But if you do not hold on, you will not get to see your blessings, your prize. You will not get to see it. Trust me, hang on a little bit longer and I can tell you the truth. Until next time, leave me questions, leave me comments. And